Mama's Dad Home Show number 25. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest guy in the whole world, and his dad, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos and Nick Pavlidis. Hey, everybody, this is Nick Pavlidis, and thank you so much for being here for another episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. This is the podcast where you get to listen in on a little father-son time with me and my five-year-old son, Pavlos. Before I play today's episode, I want to say a few more thank yous and then the resource of the week. Like I mentioned last week, in order for us to get noticed in iTunes and Stitcher, we need you to share, comment, and review our show. So if you haven't yet, you could do it at 5minuteswithdad.com slash iTunes and 5minuteswithdad.com slash Stitcher this week. Week, let me thank Dan at Rental Income Podcast. So you want to sell on eBay, Dwayne Scott, and My Real Salt. Thank you so much for leaving us ratings and reviews. We could not be as seen without you. All right. The resource of the week is actually related to the show today because Pavlos was recording a show, but he wanted to continue working in his book which was the book that we mentioned before, the kindergarten workbook, which you can find on our resources page at 5minuteswithdad.com slash resources. And I didn't realize that Pavlos has started learning how to tell time. So he started reading in his book, and he knew what time it was, and it was kind of cool. He can tell basically just the hours, so 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and you'll hear that in today's show. And what we have been doing to teach him a little bit about time is first we bought him the resource of the week, and that is the American innovative Teach Me Time talking alarm clock and nightlight. Pavlos loves it. It's this little circular clock and it has a, you set the time and you can set it to turn between green and it's kind of an orangey reddish. And if it's green, that means it's okay to get up in the morning. If it's red, that means they're not supposed to get out of bed just yet. It's not daytime yet. And it has these big buttons where you can press and it'll just read you the time. And it's not just a circle, you know, one through 12. It's a digital clock and that traditional clock face. So Pavlos sees it. He hears it. He presses it. He knows when it's nighttime. He knows when it's daytime. He loves it. So if you want to check that out, you can head on over to 5minuteswithdad.com slash alarm clock. That's our affiliate link to send you over to Amazon. It's about $35, $40 or something like that. If you buy it through that link, Pavlos will get maybe a dollar or so closer to buying his flying car. Enjoy the show. All right, who's ready for an awesome episode of Five Minutes with Dad? Me. Who? That's right. And today we're going to talk about the adventure walk we just took when we went, because Pavlos is in school now and he had a homework assignment. And what was the homework assignment, Pavlos? Finding 10 things and then turn them into something. That's right. Going for a walk outside and finding 10 things and turning it into something by the end of the month, right? Yeah. Yeah. So today we went for a walk and it was a little rainy. So the stuff is in the garage drying out and we thought we were going to find what, Pavlos? Acorns. Acorns? And what? And what else? Leaves? Leaves. And then toys. And we found... A bunch of really surprising things like puzzle pieces and bottle caps that had um, some really colorful stuff glued inside and some toy, little toy pieces. So we're going to do our collage and we're going to do it with stuff that we naturally find outside like what? Yeah, the leaves. And then the stuff that we weren't expecting to find outside like... Toys. Toys. Pavlos, you got to speak up, honey. Okay, so that's really cool. Now, Pavlos, do you know that one day a couple weeks ago, I visited your school and I saw a chart, a picture that was on your wall in your classroom that I think is really cool. And I think people would like to know what it means. So, It's my, it's, my, it's me. Yeah, there's a cool picture of Pavlos on the wall, but what I'm talking about is the rules, the list of rules on your wall, on the wall. Can you tell everybody what the rules of your classroom are? Um, I don't know. 
know. I don't know. Okay, I'll help you. I will. Ask for help. I will ask for help. Yep, I will. Care about others. Yes, I will control. My body and mind. I will make. Problems smaller. And is that it? I will make problems smaller. Uh, smaller. I will control my body and voice words. I will help others. I will ask for help. And what else? There's one more. I'm trying to learn how to read homework books. That's right. Now, we mentioned a couple of weeks ago the Pavlos' resource of the week, which was the big workbook for kindergartners. And Pavlos loves that book. We still use it every single day, and it's got all sorts of problems. And right now, Pavlos is filming a show, and he's doing a homework problem. And the the one we're looking at right now, it says, write the time below each clock. So this helps Pavlos learn how to tell time. So, Pavlos, the first one, what time do you think it looks like? Nine. That's right. The little hand is on the nine. And the big hand is on the 12, so that means it's 9 o'clock. This one, let's. which one do you think this is? 6 o'clock. That's right. The little hand is pointing to the 6, and the big hand is pointing to the 12. 6 o'clock. This one's 11 o'clock. Yes, it is 11 o'clock. Cause the, and tell, tell me why. Uh, what? Why do you think this one is 11 o'clock? Because the little hand's pointing at it. And the big hand's where? On the 12. Okay, now it's the last one. Now, before you say it, I want you to tell me what time it is and why you think it's that time. The big hand's pointing on the 12, and the, and the little hand is pointing on the 4. It's, and it's 4 o'clock. Pavlos, that is awesome. I am so proud of you, Pavlos. You have more on this page? That's right. That's one o'clock. Do you know how to write the time? Because I see you doing a great job writing the number nine for nine o'clock and six. Now, do you see the instructions up here on top? Yeah, it says. Write so, the number. Okay, so when it's four o'clock, the example up here says three o'clock. And what what do you see written underneath it? A three and a zero and a zero. Yes, and after the three, what do you see? Right after the three. Two little squares. That's right, two dots. So, now, when we're going through the rest of the page, how do you think, let's go to the four o'clock one, okay? Underneath this, why don't you write four o'clock just like the instructions wrote three o'clock? And tell everybody what you're writing. Wow, good job, Pavlos. Can you explain to everybody how you wrote it? I did, I did a four dot dot. Zero. Zero. Perfect. Oh, and Angela is writing something, too. I'm going to bring the microphone over to Angela. Drawing a big motorcycle. You're drawing a big motorcycle? All right, Pavlos, I think we had a great episode of Five Minutes with Dad. Can you tell everybody thank you for listening? Thank you for listening. So there you have it. Another episode of Five Minutes with Dad in the books. Thanks again to everybody who's left us a review on iTunes and Stitcher. If you haven't, it's 5minuteswithdad.com slash iTunes and 5minuteswithdad.com slash Stitcher. And don't forget to check out the resource of the week, the American Innovative Teach Me Time Talking Alarm Clock and Nightlight. You can pick that up at 5minuteswithdad.com slash alarm clock. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To submit a question for an upcoming podcast or connect with Pavlos and Nick, head over to 5minuteswithdad.com.